I don't know the world of figure skating or anything yes. like that. But to me, it seems like maybe the worst sport to go into for one reason, in my opinion. <laughs> You're at the mercy of other of judges. And it really is such a subjective thing. I remember in the Olympics at one point, I think it was France. There was a, a couple from France or something skating together. And they, yes. they found out that the judge was sort of on the take. He was voting for his own countrymen or something like that. Canada and Russia in, in Salt Lake City Olympics uh, 2002. Yeah, it wasn't France, yeah. So, yeah. When you, so you go out and do a routine, like in Vancouver or something, yes. and you think you killed it. And you I know, did kill it. Yeah. And then let's say the judge comes back with a shitty score, Yeah. which is what happened to you, right? Absolutely, and I th it, it's all political. You know, uh, the guy who won is also American. You can only have one American per podium, basically. It was in North America. I mean, there there were lots of things that went into it, and I skated the best I ever did, and that's, you know, unfortunately what I've got to show for it. <laughs> and you have no option. You can't go and say, hey, wait a second, I just got robbed. You, you just got to accept it. You've got to have great sportsmanship, right? Yeah, you, you bend over and you take it. Do you think you were held back by these judges? Do you think there was a conspiracy against you? I'm being serious. Well, there's a lot of everything. I mean, the people that do judge us are about half a century older than mm -hmm. us. Right. So there is a, a cultural gap there. And in America alone, I mean, I, I train in Russia part of the year. I have Russian coaches. I've, I've never really been against any part of the world. And Americas want patriots and people that are pushing America forward. And, and I love where I come from and stuff, but I think the Russian thing definitely turned people off. And then the gay the judge, thing. And do you think the judges were against you because you trained in Russia and therefore you're not an American? Well, I mean... Our American judges, I mean, I, I've heard it my whole career and, mm. and constantly being told, okay, your hair is too gay, you're training with a Russian, you shouldn't speak Russian, you, should, uh, you shouldn't wear that kind of costume, this, that, you're wearing too much makeup, blah, blah, blah. So they were biased against you because you were too flamboyant? Too flamboyant, too, too just out of the box, too unlike the Wheaties box that they wanted. And it seems to me that you were good for figure skating by being flamboyant in the same way that Liberace was good for the piano. because exactly. because Well, they were playing it both ways because they were playing up. Oh, what is he going to wear? You know, how is he going to look? Is he going to, you know, go along with the judges and, and tone down his outfit or is he going to come out in full force? Yeah. And so they were playing it up to bring viewership to the Olympics, but then the judges were still going to be the judges. Do you think there's an issue where gay men are sitting and saying he's too gay and he makes us look bad. Absolutely. That's I've, what I've I heard think. that a lot. That's what I think happened with your career. I'm honest to God believe But that's that. what I was saying, that they were playing it up for the TV cameras and on, pr you know, to promote the show, yeah. that he's a rebel and he's going to break the mold. But by the same token, they were still going to vote in a very conservative way. Yes. Right. Yeah, because they think it's bad the for the sport. Yeah. Well, they think it's bad for the sport, but they started to realize, you know, before this Olympics, I had a TV show, a reality series on right. uh, the Sundance Channel, mm -hmm. Be Good Johnny Weir, and that was coming out. And um, my picture was everywhere and everyone was talking about it, and they realized maybe it's good that he goes to another Olympics and, and, you know, he can bring some attention to the sport. We don't need a young kid this time as our third American. Mm -hmm. We can just have Johnny and he'll bring us a lot of press. Right. And in some ways, I feel like I went to this Olympics because the people in charge knew that I would, I would bring viewers.